everyone and welcome back. So today I have a Makeup Obsession highlighter haul. For those of you that don't know, Makeup Obsession falls under the Tan Beauty umbrella and it was actually for a long period it's only available in boot stores but the number of boot stores it was available in was quite few. Even on the times that I went into London I could never actually find it. They were only available on the Boots website however very recently they've become available on the Tan Beauty website. So I picked up basically all of the highlighters I knew would suit my skin tone that I didn't have previously and I also picked up, I know it's kind of cliche and overdone but I got the rose gold palette to keep them in. As you can see they were kind of very similar kind of light champagne shape. The reason I have kind of them in an odd place and their spaces here is because these are for the three highlighters I already own. So I'm going to include swatches as I go along now and there's actually one eyeshadow in here as well that I bought to be a highlighter because it kind of fit in that family. So the highlighters are all three pounds each and you get two grams of product which is a lot of product actually for three pounds and then the eyeshadows are two pounds and you get two grams of product again and I've done a review on Makeup Obsession before which I will link below. So I've got another one of their cream shadows and this is one of their strobe balms and this is in Precious and this is much more of a true icy white colour, it's really pretty. I do really like their strobe balms. This was the one that I actually most wanted to try, this is Lightning and this is one of their newer highlights. This is the kind of first one they've got where it's like kind of got an effect over it. It basically looks like Lightning down it, it's really clever. So you've kind of got gold mixed in with white and so then I have Hot which is more of a duochrome, it's almost got a shade of kind of like yellow gold in it and then I have a highlighter in ice just again it's much more of a kind of true champagne highlighter almost And then the next one I have is called Bear and this is much more kind of a subtle highlight it's not as shimmery as the others now the ones on the bottom, they looked a lot lighter on the website, whereas when they've actually turned up, especially this last one here, they're a lot darker than I thought they would be, so I'm not going to be able to use all of these as highlights, I'm going to have to use them as like eyeshadows or blush. So the first one we've got is Peach, it's obviously a true peachy colour. And then I have Bronze, which is kind of like a bronzy champagne colour. And then London, which is actually an eyeshadow, but it kind of fell in the highlighter family, so I thought I would put it in there. And then the last one, which is in gold, which is obviously a true gold highlighter. Even though it said gold on the website, it looks a lot more subtle, so I'm definitely not going to be able to use that as a highlighter. Now, the pigmentation of these is absolutely amazing. Whatever I've used, Makeup Revolution or Makeup Obsession or any kind of tan beauty eyeshadow or powder product in the past, pigmentation has always been exceptional. So these are a really good value for money. I love these kind of buildable systems. I think it's nice to see something like this on the drugstore again, because we haven't seen anything like this in a while. So that was kind of my very quick makeup obsession kind of highlighter haul. I hope you found it interesting. Let me know if you have any comments down below and I'll see you next time.